Welcome back to Polygon Wizard Plays Minecraft. This is episode 17. As you can see, I'm sitting down on the couch in the lounge here trying to recover from the tragedy of last week's episode. Kind of looks like my head's on fire, too. Well, anyway, all those poor lost tools, but we're going to get back in the swing of things today and we're going to do a little bit of building. So I think you guys will like what I've got uh, planned for today. So let's get things started. Okay, let's head out of the lounge here and we're gonna go outside and I'll show you I've already started. We've got a project that I've been talking about for a little while now as a potential one. I've actually began on it. I got a little inspired the other day and was messing around in creative designing something and now I've started building here in my world. So as you can see we've got this dock here that we already had I think I'm going to remove it in favor of this over here. By our stables over here, I've started on a fishing hut. I've kind of got the basic layout and I've built a little bit more than I thought I might start for you guys, but I think that's okay. There's still plenty to do. So as you can see, we've got a nice little dock here and I've hollowed out the lake a little bit so that it's a little bit deeper than it used to be. I've got kind of the basic room here, but nothing much else started. So we've got plenty else to do. Got me a lot of materials here. Oop, down here. So I've kind of done some of the same stylizations that I have on the main house over there with the stairs over the windows and with the stairs on the ground here. But I'm also going to do some extra here, like so. Actually, I'm going to do those regular. And turn it. Man, I'm doing terrible here. Alright. Anywho. There's no real reason for me to do this other than just to add a little bit of cool detail on the building that you don't otherwise get. So here... This. I don't want them to be the same size. Ah, crap, I messed it up again. See, this is the perils of having built something already and then doing the same thing. Wow, derpy -der -der. Captain Crappy Build has arrived. Actually, I do want these upside down. Wow, okay. The perils of building something ahead of time and then trying to replicate it are that you have so many times where you just like think you've screwed something up or you actually do screw something up. Oops. We'll leave that for now and we'll get that other block in a minute. So I have this all built in creative, so I'm going to try and replicate it here. We might make a couple changes, but for the most part, whoops, I supposedly, in theory, know what I'm doing. So far that doesn't seem to be the case. There we go. I just wanted to do that really quickly before I get into doing some other stuff. Let's see, actually I'm going to do this from here because the ground. Alright, let's get up top here and put another row along this. So how are you guys since last episode? Are you recovering fine from the tragic end of some of the uh, tools I had? Did you enjoy that? Because 
man, it hurt losing all that stuff, but it was actually a lot of fun, and I felt so stupid after watching playback and realizing that I went everywhere but the one place where I actually fell off. <laughs> but hey, that's how things go in Minecraft sometimes. You know what? We're just going to make a ton of this. Actually, I'm not going to need that many stairs, so we'll just stick with what we got. These. Alright, let's see if I can remember how to make these. Yes, okay. I think two is actually all I need. We're doing a little bit of detail work here just to start with, just because I felt like doing that before building stuff like a roof. Who needs that? <laughs> Who says you gotta save all the pretty details for last? Now. Oh, wrong one. Let's put that there. And let's go ahead and build us our storage because this is going to be kind of a little fishing hut. We're going to have way more storage than we actually need. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. What I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to build a little bit of this, and I'm going to start on the roof. Hopefully remember how it's supposed to go. And then I will probably do a little bit of this off camera so you don't have to see the whole entire thing. But, let's see, whoops. Alright, let's get dirt back on the bar here. Ah! Doing a terrible job. So, what we're going to do here with the stairs, actually. Well, I'm going to build up the roof a little bit here. Just so you get an idea of what it's going to look like. We'll do a little off-camera work to finish it up so I don't waste all the episode time. <laughs> With derpy block placement, man. Terrible. Terrible. Where's the center? One more. There's the door. So what I'm going to do here... Is I'm going to make this a little bit more interesting than just a straight angle and add a slight difference here at the top. If I can get that. Well, it didn't place how I wanted it to, but that's okay. I'm going to run to the other side of this here and put the other half of the roof up here in the front just so that you guys can get an idea of what it's supposed to look like. And then we're going to finish put this off camera just so we can get to all the other stuff. Uh, I need more stairs, don't I? Might want to do that first. I can only sleep at night. I know. You guys are into this too, where you're trying to do a project, and so you've got your bed there to sleep off the night, and then 
you run over here at sunset and end up having to wait because you try to sleep too early. I certainly do that all the time. Don't get stuck on that, please. So yeah, I actually haven't played that much Minecraft since the last episode. I'm sure you can imagine why. Because I can. I just kind of was uh, heartbroken is the wrong word, but you know, kind of wasn't in the mood to play that much because of what had happened. So I just played a few other things recently. I played some Torchlight 2, I played whoops. Played a little bit of Terraria, played a bit of Battlefield 3. Although I played that one quite a bit normally anyway. Played some Alan Wake, even though I've played that game several times before. I was kinda in the mood to play it again. So I started, I played about a chapter of that game. Here we go. That's kind of what the house is going to look like here with the roof. So what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to finish, extend this roof back and then we're going to work on kind of, I've got a uh, flatter roof that goes in front here on these pillars and then connects back to the little house part. So I'm going to finish the house part of the roof and then we'll move on to that. So anyway, I will be back with you guys shortly and we will continue talking about uh, some of the other games I've been playing recently. Okay guys, as you can see, I've finished off the roof for the main house here, and I've kind of put some stair-step dirt back here, because eventually I'm going to make sort of flower uh, hanging boxes, flower boxes, whatever you call them on the back here. But I have to grow the grass up there in order to be able to plant flowers and stuff up there. Or at least it looks better with grass. So, while that grows, we're going to start working on this front overhang here. I also wanted to show you I put in a floor up here as well as when I finished the wall I put some put a little window here there's a the big window in the back and the reason for that is in the front here this roof will connect and so there's only room for a small window and in the back the big window the cooler you can't actually get up there but it looks better than just having a blank wall so you know we've got a ceiling in here now Yay! and lots of storage. <laughs> Alright, but let's see, I am running low on stairs here. Those. Well, if and when I need new blocks, I will. Whoops, go chop some wood or something, or maybe go to the house and grab some more. Do, do, do. Anyway, uh, back to sort of the topic I was talking about is the games I've been playing. I think I'm going to talk about Alan Wake for a little bit here because, I don't know, I think it was a well known game, fairly well known. It was just on Xbox to start with, and it's on PC as well. But it seems a lot of people don't actually know about it whatever reason so I just wanted to talk about it a little bit and sh talk about what I like about it I am building this too close on me oh well upside down stair a slab another slab Oh, I also realized this roof was a little too far back. Alright, dirt. But anyway, Alan Wake. 
I like to describe Alan Wake as kind of... What? Twin Peaks plus the Twilight Zone plus a little bit of In the Mouth of Madness, if you're familiar with that, and a bit of Stephen King all thrown into a blender and made into a video game. I think I'm connecting this wrong somehow. Eh, we'll work with it and I can fix it later if need be. No, this is where it's supposed to be. I think. Oops, I see something I need to fix. Oh, sorry about this, guys. It's just gonna bug me if I don't do it. Bing. There we go. And you got it back. So, oops. Hmm, this still isn't looking right because it's supposed to connect. I don't know. I'm confused, but I think it's just a case of uh, doing something and then <gasps> thinking you're wrong when you're not. Okay. I do know this first part should be right. Oops. So let's get the upside down stairs going. In the pool we go. Well, hot tub. Don't worry guys, we're going to fancy this place up a little bit later, but we got to get the rest of these basics going. But anyway, Alan Wake is a very interesting game, because if you just look at it on its surface and look at sort of some of the mechanics and stuff of it, the game doesn't change a whole lot over its course as far as what you're doing and it has a whole lot of jankiness to it like the facial animations are terrible for most of the game and some of the textures are blurry and things of that nature but it manages to make that not really matter you know it overcomes those things to be something a little more special than what the sum of its parts might sort of suggest. I need to put some dirt on this side too. And so instead of you know I could do that with four blocks but I've got a lot more slabs so I'm just going to keep going. It does do several things very well though, so story is something that Alan Wake does quite well in my opinion. Yeah, we're definitely doing more work. And it's all the plot line is all tied up in storytelling and writing because Alan Wake is a writer. <laughs> kind of like Stephen King, where he's very popular and you know recognizable. And what happens is Alan Wake is trying to get away from it all. He's going up somewhere with his wife to kind of the Pacific Northwest somewhere. So if you're not familiar with that kind of area of the United States, if you've ever seen Twin Peaks, the old show, you'll kind of get a little bit of idea. Lots of big trees, woods, things of that nature. And so he goes into this small town full of quirky people and strange things start happening. And his wife disappears and you spend the game trying to get her back or finding out what happened to her and a lot of it has to do with kind of hallucinations like it's all of this in Alan Wake's head or not and all these strange things are going on so that's one of the things it does well another thing that I really like about Alan Wake's sort of gameplay is the lighting system in the game is very very good like it's got lots of volumetric lighting because the main mechanic of the game is you have a flashlight and you have to burn off the darkness of all your enemies 
before you can actually cause damage to them, so that is something that you're doing throughout the entire game is finding any enemies that show up and they will pop up out of nowhere in a nice kind of horror movie tradition where they will pop up behind you, come out of the shadows, atmosphere, and the big thing with Alan Wake that's good is like you're walking through the middle of the woods at night by yourself, fog rolls in, all these creepy noises start happening, and then enemies start attacking you. It can be very tense at times. But, like, for its shortcomings, Alan Wake definitely makes up for it with story. It has a lot of good, memorable characters in it, including Alan Wake himself. And my favorite is a character named Barry, who you kind of hear on the phone kind of at the beginning of the game, but he doesn't sort of come into his own until later in sort of the game. But... Oops. Stairs... Well, I didn't need that many, but that's okay. And so, I don't know. I really enjoyed it. I played it on the Xbox when it came out, and I have it on PC as well, which is why I'm kind of playing it now. Well, replaying it, what have you. It's a game, like, if you've never played it, you should give it a chance because it's very very good okay I don't remember how I connected these roofs back here so I might have to check that later and finish it off but for right now we've kinda got this built up and what I believe I did back here was just add slabs under this to cover up that stair but I could be wrong I will fix it later if I need to for now, though, we're going to have to do a little bit more uh, detail work. Hmm. Yeah, definitely going to need more than that. Alright, let's see. Hey, okay, we'll kind of get us started. I thought I had some regular wood. I guess I don't. Alright, anyway. Let's get a little sleep. And I'm gonna... throw up a couple of these fence gates so that you can see kind of what my idea is here. So I'm using this as kind of fencing to fence off this area. Whoops. Because it looks different than what just regular fences do, and I like the look. I think it's cool. So whoops. I keep falling off. Dang it. And we need them here too, but I'm kind of out of uh, supplies, wood at the moment, I think, unless I'm just missing it. I mean, I could make it out of others, but I'd rather make it out of regular wood. But anyway, I'm going to put that in there, and man, I need sticks to do some more of the item frames and things. Alright guys, I'm going to go do a little bit of a supply run here, but I will not drag you along with it. I will be back with you shortly. Alright guys, I made it back. As you can see, I got a lot more uh, wood with me. <laughs> so let's build us a few more of these fence gates. And a lot of sticks. One, two, three. I think I need ten more of these, so that's what we're going to start with. I'm going to need at least a little fencing, too, so we'll go with that. I got a whole bunch of oak wood as well. More if I need it. Got me a couple flowers as well while I was out. So I can put them on the flower box in the back. Now if you don't know how to do this here, how it's not opening here when I do this is I'm shifting so that it won't open the gate when I place it, so it'll put it on top like a block, otherwise it'll just open and close it all day. 
Oops. Don't think I did those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that roof is a lot lower there. It doesn't look good, so we'll take that back off. Another dip in the hot tub, and we'll go over here actually. Whoops, not offenses. Alright, I need three more of those, and. Cut that off. Whoops. Forgot I had so many slabs on me. <laughs> Alright, let's go with. Sticks. Three of those. All right, other games I'm probably playing. I mentioned, uh, whoops, Torchlight Two. If you guys haven't played that, it's a lot of fun. It's very much, you know, a point-and-click loot game, kind of like a Diablo or something, where you have a character, you're running around, you are clicking to kill things, whether you are smashing it with a hammer or a sword, or whether you're slinging magic around. It's one of those kind of games. While we're at it, I'm going to check the grass in the back so you can throw them out. And uh, if you played Torchlight 1, or you know, if you play Torchlight 2, you kind of know what it is. The big difference with Torchlight 2, what they added was uh, co-op. So I did some of that a while back with some of the 008 guys, and it was a lot of fun. Kind of chaotic. We have about five or six people running around all throwing stuff, like magic, and getting up in there, and hitting things and there's so many enemies about it gets kind of uh, crazy but it's a good crazy all right do this whoops do this now because eventually this is going to be a flower box so we're going to add the bottom of it and then later once the grass grows we're going to put trap doors on the side but we'll leave it for now so as you can see it's kind of got this nice little uh, gap here the sizing goes down and then back up for the box and thought it looked kind of neat, some nice detail on there, so that's what I get for messing around with stairs. <laughs> okay, while we're at we're going to do some item frames, get this place detailed up. Alright, we need more sticks. Just make them all, because these are expensive. We need more than that. Alright guys, had a little bit of a crash there, so I lost all of that that I just made. <laughs> And I might have lost a few materials or something here too, I don't know, but we'll just make this again and hopefully we won't crash again. Alright, item frames. Let's put them on all of these torches. Make them look all pretty. We'll come back around and we will add the slabs to it, just like we got in the house. Yep, I do have some on me also. Alright. Yeah, that crash kind of made me forget what I was talking about. It was something about torchlight. How crazy it can be with uh, a lot of people. I don't know. Co op is fun, but I almost kind of like playing by myself a little bit better. Just because I can pay a little bit more attention to what is going on. <laughs> Alright, we've got all those. Got that there. Alright, while I'm at it, let's make some trap doors. We'll need four for the back. Oops. That's how we do it. I always forget how to do trap doors. Alright. I think four is all we will need. You know what? We can even go ahead and add it even if this grass hasn't grown because there is grass up there, right? Yes. Okay.
There we go. Another game that I've been playing recently, uh, again, is Skyrim. Oh, I miscounted. Of course I did. It's okay, we'll go make us another one real quick. Or Night Falls. I hadn't played it in a long time, even though I played a ton of it back when it came out. I got the itch to play it again, and man, all of that stuff came back with how much I love that game. That game, I just spend tons of time just wandering around, going into caves. I still haven't done the main story on it, even though I've played almost a hundred hours of that game. So it does have some similarity to Minecraft in that it's a big sort of sandbox game, in part, like you can play it that way. So if you just like the exploration in Minecraft and going around and finding neat things, that sort of side of Minecraft definitely gets uh, similar feelings get scratched, itch, uh, anyway, bad metaphor there. But anyway, the similar t uh, things get met up with Skyrim if you've never played the game. It, you can just wander around for forever. Like, I don't have any of the DLC, and mostly I've just wandered around to caves and things and haven't done much of anything else. Like I've done, I've done a lot of quests. Like I've done the Mages College. I'm halfway through. Like the Thieves Guild sort of quest line. I've done some of the main quests, but I just haven't actually finished it. I don't know. Like the Elder Scrolls games, I've played a lot of Oblivion. I did it the same way. I just wandered around and found stuff. Like did exploring, did whatever random things I could find and didn't do much else. Um, okay, let's make us a fishing pole here. And let's do a little bit of fishing and call this episode done. Let's see if we get anything in this pond. Let's see if I remember how to fish. Yay! So yeah, if you guys are, you know, like the exploring side of Minecraft, you might want to try out Skyrim if you've never played it. Uh, just quick idea. My character, I usually do sneaky. Like, sneak is the skill that I max out first in Elder Scrolls games. Did it in Oblivion, and did it here in Skyrim and stuff too, so I've got like this archer who has, you know, that's the second one. Archery is kind of overpowered in Skyrim. Once you level it up, you can really do some damage. And that's how I kind of like to play the game. Okay, it seems that Minecraft has it out for me today, so before it crashes again, I am going to try and wrap this up and just say I hope you guys enjoyed the building in this episode. Catch me another fish, and I'm going to run to the other side here, give you guys a couple views of it, hopefully it won't crash on me. But you know, I kind of got the side here. I need to finish up this little uh, roof here to finish it off, but other than that, this building is pretty much done. So let's get a look at it from across the pond, shall we? Got some dangerous caves over here. So you can kind of see what it looks like across the pond. Use Optifine zoom in here a little bit. And we'll run over here really quick and call that an episode. Hope you guys like it. I know I've talked about maybe building a fishing hut several times. I thought I didn't quite want it here because it was a little too close to the house. Once I started like messing around with what I wanted to do with it, it, it got a little bit bigger of a project than I thought it was going to be at first. So that's why I moved it over here. Might keep that dock, might not, I don't know. But for now, you know, we've got a place to keep all of our fishing stuff. So I think that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.